Hi, I'm Cash with Cashed Out Boards, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a test to see how much faster longboarding is than walking in a college campus. So to do this, I'm basically going to time the amount of time it takes for me to get over to where I have class in the center of campus longboarding, and then see how long it takes to get back, and then I'll do it again walking and compare the time. So let's get started. So there is still going to be some walking in this because obviously there are stairs and stuff that we can't longboard down. So um, I'm not going to cut these parts out because obviously anywhere you go you're not going to be able to really longboard downstairs. So I'm just going to keep these parts in and keep going. So now I'm coming up um, to where my class is. And the reason that I'm going there and back, both walking and longboarding, is to account for these hills because obviously longboarding you're going to get up some speed down the hills which will be faster in one direction than the other one. So we're going to go both ways. Um, right here is where my class is later. So this is where I'm going to be walking to and let's check the time see how we did. So we're at just about six minutes on the way here. It'll probably be a little bit longer on the way back because it's more uphill that way. But let's head back and we'll see. So now I'm back up exactly where I started and the time's at about 12 and a half minutes. So I'll stop that and later when I walk to class we can compare the times. All right, so now it's a little bit later in the day and um, I'm gonna start the timer again and see how long it takes to walk to my class, which is in the same exact spot that I longboarded to earlier. And I'm gonna guess that it's gonna take about 11 minutes, but we'll see when we get there. So now I'm coming up to the spot where I stopped timing when I longboarded here. So once I get pretty much to where I stopped it, I'll um, stop this timer and we'll see how we did with the time. Right now we're just over 11 minutes. So my guess was pretty good, and I'd guess that it'll be about the same time to walk back, but after my class I'll time that and see also. It was dark by the time that I got back to my room, but the total time that it took to walk to and from class was 23 minutes and 4 seconds. And the total distance based on Google Earth was 0.67 miles each way. And the average speed while longboarding was 6.33 miles an hour, including stairs and time that I had to walk up and down steep hills and stuff where I couldn't longboard like stairs. And the total average speed for walking was 3.48 miles an hour, so a decent amount slower, so it's almost twice as fast to longboard at the speed that I was going. So overall, I'd say a longboard in a college campus or a city setting is definitely a big help to help you get to places faster. And you definitely could get to places even faster than how fast I was going. So yeah, longboards are definitely a good fast option for transportation if you don't want like a car or a bike. So please like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this one and for board building tutorials. As always, thank you for watching.